Hello everyone. Good afternoon. I guess this is twelve thirty six. Okay, today's topic is about simple future. Okay, the same reason. This is a uh, uh, a video for online class. So I teach you from home, and you can study at home. So I will upload this first on our website, and you can download it, and you can watch. Uh, directly from your phone or your uh, laptop or your tablet or whatever device that you have at home so today's topic that's about simple future okay the reason why English is used in my opinion why English is used for international language because the tense the tense of English is very specific if you tell someone or somebody or other people about your activity, so the tense that you find, the tense that you use in your sentence, it relates to the time of the actions. So simple future means that if you tell someone about your ambition or goals in the future, so you can use this structure. For example, I will go to your house tonight. I will go to your house tonight. I am. Why I am? To be is am, and the subject is I. I am going to go to your house tonight. So the first one. What is the difference is between what is the difference between will and to be going to? So this is the same in Bahasa Indonesia. To be going to and will is translated into akan. Okay, the the action will be will be happening. Uh, I mean, will happen in the future. So, will is the auxiliary for a simple future, and to be going to is the same. This is auxiliary for simple future. So, what is the difference? Okay, let me tell you something. Will if your plan if your plan is still fifty percent versus fifty percent, so that is not certain. That is not certain. Uh, ninety nine percent. We use will for the auxiliary, but if your plan has been. 90% up to 99% or 75 up to 99% used to be going to. For example, if your planning is to go to Bali next year and then you you have bought the ticket and then you have scheduled your uh, your I mean your schedule to go to Bali and then the first one think in your mind that there is 90, 90% I can tell you that that is 99% plan because you have bought the ticket and then you have arranged the schedule for your holiday so so that is the use of to be going to because the plan is certain yeah because uh, plan is certain and if we use will that is a little bit dif different with to be going to because the plan is still 50 50 maybe it can be cancelled or maybe it can be true okay so that's the use of will okay so maybe my explanation about will and to be going to will make you understand about those difference yeah I'll try it so usually we use will in our sentence because to be going to yeah so it's uh, formal I mean formally in writing or maybe in speaking sometimes all right simple future if you want to tell about your ambition your goal your plan use simple future so here we discuss about the use of verb one okay so before we use verb one the auxiliary is will or to be going 
two. Okay, so the okay, this is the example of the auxiliary for simple future tense, right? Okay. It must be followed by verb one. So I will I will give three uh, examples of simple future sentence. So I do hope my examples will make you more understand about simple future use. For example, number one, I will take you to my house tonight. Okay, remember, the specific time, or I mean the time signal for simple future tonight. I mean, this is still a plan. It will happen tonight, not today, not in the past, but tonight. So, we use will here for the auxiliary and take for the verb one. Will take, not will took, not will taking, not will takes, and etc. But will must be followed by only bare infinitive verb one, right? So, this is the first example of using simple future sentence. Let me repeat. I will take you to my house tonight. So that's, that's the first example. Okay. Okay, the second example I used to be going to. Maybe my plan is certain and I have bought the ticket for going to Bandung. So I make an example. I am going to visit Bandung this weekend so as I told you just now what is the difference between will and to be going to yeah this is a certain plan this is certain plan I mean maybe 75% up to 99% the action will be happened in the in the future but will it is still 50% versus 50% plan okay so, I use here uh, to be going to verb 1. To be am, to be for I. To be refers to the subject. Going to and plus verb 1. Why verb 1? Because this is to here. To verb 1. Um, I'm going to visit Bandung this weekend. The specific time for this sentence is this weekend. So, this is... To be going to verb one. To be to be going to going to and the verb one. That's right. So this is the second example. Okay, I will give you the third example. Siska will pay her school fee tomorrow. Alright, because we use here the specific time tomorrow means the action will happen in the future. So this is called simple future sentence. And then the second one, we use will here added by... I mean, followed by the verb one, pay. So the sentence, Siska will pay her school fee tomorrow, means that the action of payment will happen in the future. It is in tomorrow, for tomorrow. So use will, edit, I mean, followed by the verb one. Yeah. Or if you use to be going to, if the plan is certain, so maybe Siska is to be, going to pay so it's the same is going to and will is the same to be why we use is here because the subject is siska not i not they so shiska siska is going to or siska will pay so that's the same but in semantics a little bit different i mean 
if we used to be going to that's a certain plan sudah pasti right in bahasa Indonesia sudah pasti akan terjadi and then the, the plan uh, I mean I can in my opinion the plan is 70% 75% up to 99% but if we use will 50% versus 50% so that's my short explanation about simple future I do hope you understand more about the use of simple future in your speaking. You can tell your future ambition or your goal, your uh, uh, plan in the future to other people using simple future tense. Yeah, you can use will or to be going to for the auxiliary. But remember, all the verb is verb one. Without as or it as, without in, without it, etc. Only verb one. Bare infinitive. Yeah, bare infinitive. Kata kerja dasar. Right? So, um, thank you for listening to my explanation. That's all my short explanation for today's topic, simple future tense. And I hope you understand more about the use of simple present. Um, gunawan tamu saribu and thank you for listening. Thank you for your attention. Good afternoon, everybody.